tonight I want to share with you uh, a little something from my uh, Amiga childhood, uh, Amos Coin Drop Fruit Machine. Uh, um, I'm coming to you tonight from the Crown Plaza in Glasgow, so uh, please excuse my uh, crappy sound. Uh, all I've got is just the, the laptop microphone. I haven't got my uh, proper mics with me, um, but I, I figured I would like to play a little bit of um, Amos Coin Drop Fruit Machine for you tonight. Okay, so um, 93, I think it was, got a um, Mega 500 Plus, well, my dad did, Cartoon Classics version, represent Cartoon Classics version. Almost everybody had that, I think. Um, Anyway, uh, we didn't buy many games for it, and, I, and I, most of the games that we got were, were Amiga uh, magazine cover disc um, games. One such was this one, it was Coindrop. Um, made in that um, that programming language, Amos, which I think we had, because um, again, I think that came on the cover of a magazine. I think I did a little bit of programming with it, but certainly nothing quite as complex or sophisticated as uh, Amos Coindrop. It's a fruit machine simulator, as the name suggests. Only the, the appeal of this was, and I think it was probably one of the reasons why I was allowed to play it as a child, is you don't waste any real money on it. So, let's have a little play. Now you can put as much as £10 in, so one player, uh, but I think we're gonna put, say, £5 in. Um, reason being, uh, I played £10 earlier on, and it took a long, long time to get credit for each turn. Well, we go for a pound for each turn. Identify player one is me. Hello, my name is Craig. Bypass instructions, no. Uh, okay, above, yes, let us play. Let us play. Okay, so let's have a look at the screen here then. So what have we got? What have we got? Well, we've got what looks very much like a very recognizable fruit machine layout, particularly um, the sort of fruit machine that you'd see um, in your pubs and clubs in the 1990s, 1980s, that kind of time. Okay, so along the top of the screen, uh, your winnings, your credit, and uh, the money I got, nudges, and how many plays there are. That's just a play is worth 10p, 10p to spend. Right, held, because this is the trail here, and this is what these numbers are for. The numbers are to light up the trail, then the trail, when fully lit up, takes you to the, the big win screen where you get to... Uh, play a, a number of little mini games in order to win big prizes okay so it's very similar to a fruit machine that we've all played okay nudge buttons below the reels hold buttons below the reels and this reel here is of numbers and it doesn't have any kind of bearing on the win line here but it does come into its own a little bit later on uh, when we gamble as you can see this higher and lower Yep, there's a higher and lower game on here also. Right, let's stick a quid in. Now, a game, uh, a spin is 10p, so I can add 10p at a time, but that'll just be boring. But I can stick a pound in. And as you notice, if I click the pound button, it doesn't add a pound, it just brings it up to a pound. You can put a maximum of pound in at a time. Each time you click that little counter button. So, let us spin the ring and see what happens. Trail's been held, which is nice. We're off to a good start here. Okay. What do we hold? I wouldn't hold nothing, to be honest with you, because nothing worth holding. Never mind. Carry on. Whoa. Few more steps on the trail, and the trail's been held. Come on. We might see the windscreen very soon. Oh, look at that, it's being very, very generous of me. Okay. Do it. There we are at the windscreen. So now the, we've got to take or gamble, take or gamble. So basically it's gamble your way back this way. So I can take the new, um, to give us quite rubbish mini games here, or try and gamble my way up. Basically the gamble is I've got to stop the, hit the gamble button and stop it when it's here. And it's lighting up here, and these are proved quite difficult. So, look at that, right. And, cash climb in the full house. Oh, that's not bad either, actually, but let's try and get to it. Quack, 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 quack. I like the quack, quack sound. It was the ubiquitous sound of failure in the 90s, and I think it was because, was it Dave Lee Travis? 
On Radio 1, did he have that as a sound effect on one of his quizzes? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Cash Climb or Full House? Uh, let's do some Cash Climb. You get 10p times the numbers 1, 2 and 3 on the pay line. You must select the buttons up and down to tell me which direction to go. Basically, it's going to find me some auto wins now. It's, it's just a 50-50. Do I tell him to go up or do I tell him to go down? He just searches up and down the wheel. So let's just say up. Let's say up. 30p. A 40-50p. Added. And when he's done, when he's done um, giving me some winnings, I will get the chance to take or gamble at the end as well. That's two quid. That's not bad, is it? Two pound winnings on on a, on a few spins. That's not bad. Okay, two fifty, two sixty. Okay, so proportionately, I think the most I ever won off a real machine was I put something like one pound ten into one of these ten p spin machines. The waterfront arcade and I'm like thirteen pound out. So like proportionally that's a pretty damn good win. Okay. He's, he didn't give me the chance to gamble. I thought he was gonna give me the chance to gamble the, the winnings, but obviously not. Okay. So we're left with the opportunity to hold and to spin. I'm gonna hold those so we can put something on the trail if nothing else. Right, okay. Do you see what happened there? If you get a cherry at the extreme end of your win line, you get 20p. But unfortunately what it does is it screws everything up. It, it nullifies anything that you got toward your trail and it also nullifies things like nudges. Similarly, nudges nullify your trail numbers as well. It's worth 20p and the gamble cycle is frankly not worth it. So, hold the trail again, hold for nudges. I'm gonna hold for the trail again, see what happens. If get a cherry here now, just you wait and see. Excellent, trail held. And I have some holds as well, look at that. Oh, we're nearly there, but it's fine. Right, now I don't want to screw this up. I don't want a cherry to drop in. And I'm given the opportunity to hold the whole line. So why not just hold the entire lot? And we're in again. Come on. Yep, we knew that was going to happen. Okay, gamble, gamble, gamble. Oh, quack, quack, already. What a shame. Um, I'm going to go for the money time on this one. Gambling high and low will get you 20p each time until I loose. That's the wrong word for lose. Ah, you just love it when really bad grammar creeps into games. I'll give this guy a pass because it's a homebrew game. Homebrew game. Independently made title. Higher or lower than a three? Oh, that's a shame. I matched. Ah, of course I went lower. Great, so I won diddly squat however that held the trail so no matter what i spin we win oh see that is annoying see because i've got nudges and like i said nudges seem to override oh well fine whatever it doesn't matter because if i just ensure that i've got a number on the Win line, it don't matter. We're gonna go through to the windscreen. There we go. Good. Oh, I thought clicking it quickly would beat it, but it didn't. Let's do the money climb again. Loose. Flipping loose. Wrong word. If I get the same number again, I will receive a loose. Yeah, a loose spin, then a loose. Higher or lower than a one? Hmm. Oh, no. I don't know, lower than a 10. Lower than a 10, I think. Quack, quack. Oh. 12. You are cruel. Maybe that was the point of this game. Maybe that was the point of the game to show you that actually there are no winners in gambling, only losers. 
that the pursuit of free money is futile. I'll hold those. I won't hold the one. Because that might take up the space of me. Took up the space of me. Which is coming and ruined everything. Give me that 20p and be on your way. Nothing. One on the trail. So we were holding ones, I suppose, but um, I want to add to the trail if nothing else. Oh, that's a win, because that's three. Um, they look like biscuits to me, but they're not. They're oranges, obviously. 60. 60 pence. Go on, let's gamble the 60 pence, shall we? Right, starting at four. Higher than four? Higher, 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 higher. Taking that. So, the general rule was when doing that was if it was higher than a six, you went lower. If it was lower than a six, you went higher. If it was a six, you just bugged out if you could. You just took it and ran. Which is what I do. Four, four nudges for me. Wow, okay, right. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to... The of this is, uh, you can have a little look and see how it lies. So you can click the gamble button. And if the number's good, like that, I mean, chances of getting lower than that. I will now. Six nudges. Mm. I'm, I'm going to take. I'm going to take. I'm going to see if six nudges bring me a bell. Um, and then we'll get a better winnings, I suppose. Instantly, there used to be, uh, there is, on this, uh, there is a cheat mode available where you get to see the reels if you press a key, but I haven't got that activated because I'm not a dirty cheat. I'm just going to keep nudging through this, and oh, I've got nothing for my trouble. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> oh, it held the trail. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it ain't got nothing on it, so, you know, thanks. Very generous. Ugh. Two nudges, but the cherry on the extreme end again. Screwed everything up. Okay, I'm gonna hold that. Um, it's a thinking man's game, this one, I think. Mm. You know, I said it's a thinking man's game, it's also a game that demands razor sharp reflexes. I'm a hold that too, baby. Right. Looking good, looking good, but it would have looked better if it had held the trail. Never mind. Never mind. Still didn't hold. Okay, just for information, I haven't got my Amiga 500 out here in Glasgow with me. It probably wouldn't survive the journey, particularly not on Flybe. Thank you very much, the most bumpy flight I've ever been on. Um, no, I've got my faithful laptop and Amiga Forever. I'm one of those mugs that pays for it as well. It pays the premium for the premium version. Because I like it. Right, two nudges, to just take them. Just take the nudges, man. So we'll nudge down for those three. And we'll nudge down for that one. That gives seven. Oh, and look at that. We've, we've expended another pound. We are burning our way through this money. Yeah, so I'm using Amiga Forever and uh, capturing this on debut for your viewing pleasure. Look at that. Winning of 60 pence. Mmm. Pence was a lot of money in those days, was it not? 60 pence could buy you a six bedroom house in 1992. And you'd still have change left over for a Subaru Impreza with the spoiler. Obviously, I'm kidding. Why am I clicking that? There's nothing there. You need to click there, just click the start button. You know that one that's blinking at me? You have the chance to win. Chance here. Or I have the chance to uh, 
just get pathetically low. Never mind. So I was, yeah, I was lucky kid who got um, in the house a Mega 500 cartoon classics with, like I said, a mysteriously, um, the Car Captain Planet and Bart Simpson games mysteriously stopped working not long after we first tried them out. However, the ones that, the ones that survived, oddly, was Deluxe Paint 3, which I really loved, and Lemmings, which who doesn't love Lemmings? Um, oddly enough, my, my dad didn't like, um, the Simpsons, we thought they were rubbish. Uh, I don't know what he had against Captain Planet, mind you, and it's um, environmental messages. Maybe it was just a coincidence that those games were um, Who knows? But we didn't buy many, we didn't buy many games. Um, so cover discs, cover disc games was the thing. This was one of them. I'm gonna take that money. I'm gonna take that money. Yeah. So I think that was pretty much the course for many people that had Amigas. Really, you know, you didn't really pay for games. What am I holding that for? I'll hold that. You didn't really pay for games. You just bought your Amiga format. Got a couple of discs on the front. Or Amiga Power. Play the demos. Play the demos to death. Um, of course, we never got up to such thing as um, acquiring copied versions of anything no 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 wouldn't I wouldn't have I wouldn't have dreamt of it two nudges let's gamble for some more lower than an 11 please gee well only just oh you watch it'll go to one now I've done it I'm gonna take eight I'm gonna take eight nudges I'm not gonna I'm gonna push my luck I ain't gonna push my luck. So it's down to the three. No down. See, unlike uh, real um, fruit machines, you get the ability to change the direction of your nudges as well. So you can play the game quite tactically. Like, I want that, so I'll choose to nudge up. I want that one because I get three instead of two. Um, and. So we've got five nudges to go, so let's just spin this one, shall we? And we'll nudge up. We'll nudge up. Oh, no, we'll nudge the other way, because I don't want that cherry to uh, ruin everything. Oh, look at that. I've got three pairs, actually, there. Look at that. 80p. Yeah, I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking. Never mind. 80p. Gamble. Take gamble. Take gamble. Let's gamble. Oh. Remember the rule. Because you can't really get a good a good guess either way when you're on six, so it's best just to take the money and run. Okay. Yeah, just spin. Just spin. Oh, another cherry. Ugh, 22. Give me that 20p, oh, go. So I had the 500 plus, and my friend up the road, he had a 1200, he had, an, uh, he had an Amiga 1200, and that was an absolute gaming powerhouse, it really was. For an Amiga, of course. Um, he had Frontier Elite 2. Which I thought was just amazing when I first saw that thing. The actual gameplay, though, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, was to me boring, fairly boring. But that opening movie was just out of this world. Thank you. It was also the first time I experienced theme park as well. I couldn't get it to work. He had the AGA version because he had a 1200, obviously. My friend did. So a copy, a copy of it wouldn't have worked on my 500. Okay. Although I understand it was a 500 plus version. I think. 
she never did, she never did use it. Then. But later on, years down the line, we got a PC, and we we got to play theme park. But it was very different. The experience was very different. different music, graphics looked a bit different. Obviously, yeah, PC. 20p again. Damn cherry, jumping in the in the into the wind line. So we've got like one pound and three plays. So that's one one pound and thirty p. What 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 what? It keeps beeping at me. I think I'm gonna take that. Oh, I'm gonna nudge down. I love them three. Oh, look at that. Oh, you don't get nothing for a pair of bells. Or deck, as I like to call them. Unfortunately, it's a triplet of pairs again as well, so actually the, the winnings took precedence over the, uh, over the trail again. Right. Okay, so your credit, £8.70, or 870 pence, versus the money that you have put in. Um, you can't transfer your credit over into that and keep shoveling money into the machine. That's not how this one works. It kind of it has an end game. So basically the aim of the game is to just get a credit at the end that exceeds, at least exceeds or matches uh, what you put in. Well, I put I put a fiver in and we are with one pound 30p left at 870 pence. So I think we're winning. I think we're winning this game. One single trail light. Thank you. Well, as we're coming near to the end of this playthrough, I do hope that you have enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoy my witty banter. Take the XP. Okay, it's the final quid. It is the final quid. How will these last ten spins go? Obviously, there's many ways of winning money on this game. You know, you can try and get your matched up fruits on the win line. <laughs> I have never seen a jackpot from the bar or the treasure chest or the star. No, even bother chasing them. I don't think they're even a thing. The actual most realistic way to get any big wins is to just fill the trail and then go from there. Otherwise, you just get these little minor wins on the, on the fruit. We've done it! Oh, come on! Don't make, don't let this be a waste now. Ah, oh. <laughs> uh, go on, let's, we'll take some money this time. Twenty p each time until I lose. <laughs> that I'll always get my goat. And this is about receiving correctly. Higher or lower than eleven? Twelve. Six. Oh, no, this one you can't bug out. You have to just keep going until you lose. As it says, so six, the worst one to have, the absolute dead middle of this. Lower? Let's go lower. Oh, that was lucky. Eight. Oh, it's not ideal, it's not ideal. Let's go lower. Back to six again. Oh, you're so cool. Hi. Spin. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, we matched again. Oh, God. Oh, it's, this is torture. It's torturing me. It's dropping sixes on me. Let's go higher again, because why not? And we crapped out at a winnings of £1.40. But now I can further gamble those. Shall we? 
Well, we'll click gamble and we'll see what number this lands on. And if I don't like the look of the number... Nine? Hmm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, right now. Too rich for my blood, Governor. Two pound ten winnings. Let's take them. Thank you very much. That's twelve quid. That's twelve quid, that is, mate. Seven quid more than I started with. Two notes again. Uh, gamble, gamble, gamble. Higher than five. Lower than eight. Higher than a five. Higher than a five. Higher than a five. Yeah. Lower than a ten. Lower than a ten. The maximum nudges you can get is twelve. And oh, I crapped out there. What a shame. Le uh, the highest number of nudges you can get is twelve. Because that's because that reel only goes as high as twelve. Ooh, more nudges. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah. Because you know what? I'm gonna get a win of biscuits. Higher than a five. Go on, give me higher than a five, please. And then I'll take those. I need four. I need three, really. Ah, gee, oh, no, gee. I need more than that. No, I'm not going to be able to manage this. Because. Oh, well. This is what we're going to do. No jump. No jump. Ah, you know what? I could have got the win. Never mind, doesn't matter. I've got 60 pence. Let's gamble that. 60 pence. Good start, man. Six. Always follow the golden rule. Go out on six. If you can. Three more spins to go. Oh, this is exciting stuff. And we're nearly there. It's the last hurrah, this. Another win. Another triplet of pairs. 80 pence. It would be rude not to gamble at this stage. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's betray the golden rule. Uh, let's go higher than the six this time. Ah, quack, quack to you too, sir. Two spins left. One spin. Melon, bell, plum, lemon. None of which are worth holding. Game over. All the credits used up. It's going to count up what we've won. Wow. Okay, so we stuck five pounds into the machine at the very beginning. And we came out with 13 pounds and 10 pence. I call that a win. I certainly didn't come out of that out of pocket. In fact, the beauty of it is I didn't come out of it with any money because I didn't put any money in. Uh, I think a very authentic um, fruit machine experience. Uh, how about you? Uh, agree? Disagree? If you liked what I did today, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, consider uh, clicking that thumbs up button down below. If you didn't like it, if you thought it was a bunch of pap, um, you can also click that dislike button. However, I would appreciate some constructive feedback and tell me why it was you clicked that down vote button. Um, if you enjoyed my content and you want to see more, then by all means, hit that subscribe button. Uh, that would be super swell. Then you won't miss out on any uh, any future videos. Uh, for those of you who are already subscribed, I say thank you. Thank you very much for your patronage. Thanks for sticking with me. And to all of you who have watched this video, thank you ever so much for watching. And I shall see you the next time on Retro Respawn.